Yep, we got one of the biggest name surfers in the draw. Griffin Colapinto is taking to the water in the red jersey right now. Currently leading this heat, Brevin Willis from South Africa opened up with a 0.87. So just an early uh, foot in the wax experience to get him out in front. And Kim Mateus is uh, also yet to open his account. Three minutes down, 27 and change to go. Part of that lineage, um, you know, the nice thing about the environment he grew up in is he could just pick a surf out any day of the week. Um, as we watch right here. This looks like Kim Mateus, the goofy footer from opening his account. He's only a little fella, but he uh, packs a punch as we saw there on his opening wave. And I think he's, you know, where he feels like he has weaknesses, he's addressing them. All right, here goes Kim Mateus. This is his third wave, so staying very busy. This is our heat leader. Opens the shoulders there, drives that one back to the white water and repeats the dose with the second turn. And uh, looking for the link up through the inside. Bit of flare on the uh, third turn. And he's still milking this for all it's worth. He's got two waves so far, a 3.83. And I reckon he might have just lost his 2.83 and upgraded it with uh, whatever that last wave comes in at. And Griffin Colopinto, much heralded Californian, is sitting out the back with priority. Talk us through this replay, Chris. Well, you can see this kid's got a little bit of a light-footed approach, which is serving him well out here as he, as he threads the through the inside in that soft section. And uh, this is definitely going to be his best scoring ride. Snuck a few turns into that wave. Got one out the back and one on the inside. Yeah. And, uh, right, we're seeing some live action now. Is this uh, Griffin Colapinto taking off on his first wave of the 2016 World Junior Championships? And he's putting his rails to work. Floats over another nice section there. Shakes uh, some hair out of his face and keeps linking this one through the inside. He's going to get over to the inside bank. What's he got for us to sign off? He's going to finish off going right and blasting the tail. So a nice first wave from Griffin. He'll be looking for a couple of bigger ones over the course of the heat. And behind him, we see Bevan Willis, who is the captain of the South African junior surfing team. As we watch, strokes into a nice big left-hander, looking for that first target. It's a messy one, but he hits it, connects it, and then... Climbs over that foam ball to get around this section, which was smart because it gave him out onto this open open face and then allowed him for one more closeout maneuver on the inside. And he played this well. He kind of came down and went right and smacked that. So not, you know, an excellent score, but a nice, hey, I got my legs moving. I got a score under the belt. Decent start. And you can see right behind him, there is Bevan, who got a, a nice little bang on the outside and then weaving on the inside into that middle section. And that's what we saw originally, was just that end floater. So a decent opening score for both these guys. Um, and it's still Kim Mateus out in front. His last wave was a 4.33. And here's the replay of Griffin Colapinto's 6.5. Yeah, he, technically he surfed this wave really well. You know, he, he hit the targets exactly the way he had to. They were both messy targets. And then you could see how tricky this face was right here. He's kind of trying to figure out what he was going to do with this reform, jumped over the hump and went back to his right and then got that extra big move right there. So the judges are going to like that. We talked about the scoring and the stuff that's going to really do well in the judges' eyes is that linking of maneuvers. Move through to round three. Uh, well done. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you very much, JJ. A relief winner of the last heat, Geordie Marie. And here goes the current heat leader. Kim Mateus, he's staying busy on these little lefts. And this one's, wow, had a vicious dredgy end section and he just hammered it. Uh, didn't really look at it twice. Here goes Bevan Willis on the wave behind. And as can he get over this section? Decides there's nothing that he that appeals to him there. So he pulls the pin as well. But it's not going to really help him too much. It's put him up into second only just, but he's still chasing 8.7. And here are the replays, Chris. Yeah, Kim really took advantage. If you look at that, he did not hesitate at all on that inside section, and this is definitely going to be probably his best score of the heat so far. So, Yeah, can't wait to see a replay of uh, Griffin Colapinto's last wave, as we're seeing. Uh, this is Kim Mateus again. He's staying very, very busy, and uh, he slightly overcooked that one. And a very handy lead on the strength of a pair of sixes. A 655, and here's the best wave of the heat so far, Chris. 
Yeah, you can see a nice vertical backside crack right to start this thing, which the judges love, and then finishes it off with a nice authoritative little closeout snap. So two big moves uh, on an outside wave. And it's like, where am I going to hit this thing? How am I going to square up with it? Am I going to churn off this move? Am I going to churn and burn and fly down the line? All those are, are decisions that they're making so quick. And um, they have to in conditions like this. And so it's, it's just instinctual, really, for most of these guys. Priority is still with Griffin Colapinto, the surfer in red. And he's got a nice looking backhand wall out in front of him. Beautiful first turn, lets the tail drift and lets it drift a little bit too far and can't recover from that one. I think we're about to look at a quick comparison of Griffin's two six-point waves. So on the left we're seeing the 655 and on the right the 677. So a big turn there. And uh, here are the targets that he was eyeing off. So three blasts for the wave on the right and then I think this is where we see Griffin will turn it around and end up Getting over this little ledge and going right to kick the fins out there. So a yeah. little bit more length of ride. Maybe the first turn was a bit bigger. And now here we see the man in question once again. The red jersey signifying he's the top seed. And it's Griffin Cole Pinto still just buying his time. He's going to look to take to the sky here. Big air reverse. And didn't go with the grab. That was beautiful technical surfing, but couldn't quite engage the landing gear and come out of that one. You know, beautiful, beautiful rotation and looked like he was going to pull it off at first. But Griffin figures, hey, five minutes to go, plenty of time to uh, take some risk here. I've got a commanding lead. It's amazing, and you know, it's, it's an interesting, he's got older brothers who surf. His, his mom, who passed away, um, was a former Bells champ. Yeah, unbelievable. Here goes Kim Mateus. He's still trying to get himself back into this heat. Minute 20 to go. He's just kind of biding his time. His way of not cooperating so far. And the body language suggests that uh, Kim might have uh, decided to save his energies for round two. Uh, Cola Pinto to be the favorite coming into this heat, and he certainly has delivered. He's going to try to take a little victory lap right here on this right. Oh, that was a searing turn from the San Clemente kid. Beautifully done. And just biding his time, standing on the tail. You know, he's eyeing off another target, blasts it and kicks the fins out. So signing off in style. He's going to come in with 40 seconds remaining. And uh, him and his California buddy, Jake Marshall, have uh, sent a clear message this morning that the American contingent is taking this event seriously. So there it is, Griffin Colapinto officially through to round three, accounting for Kim Mateus and Bevan Willis.